What's up Nintendo Gamers, the kid here and I'm talking about the Nintendo Direct that we had today. Oh my god, it was it was awesome. Um excuse my puffy afro that I have right now and stuff, but I am so excited. Oh man. Uh so Nintendo pretty much let out the big guns this time. Um I mean, there there's so many good games coming out. Uh, in the spring. So we got a new trailer for the Wonderful 101. Uh, we got some footage and pictures of Yoshi's Island um, and we don't even know if that's the official name yet. And the title has yet to confirm that. And we've also got to see what uh, Monolith is working on. It looks like a new um, Xenoblade, but it's simply titled X right now. So, I mean, it's uh, up in the air what it's called. We've got a glimpse of the developers and some a little bit of gameplay of Bayonetta 2. We had a trailer for a game called uh, uh, Wii U Party and um, HD Wind Waker Remake coming to the Wii U. That I think is what blew a lot of people's mind. And at that, I mean, it's to hold us off till the next Zelda, which could be coming in 2014, 2015, early 2015. It's up in the air at this point. But Nintendo announced that they're already working on the new Zelda, trying to go back to uh, some of its roots and stuff. They acknowledged that Skyward Sword was a little too linear uh, to them, and I agree, and a lot of other people agree with that. So what they're doing is launching a Zelda uh, remake of Wind Waker, which looks absolutely gorgeous. This is a, a, an upscale like like uh, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. This isn't none of that. This is completely building the game from the ground up again in HD. And it looks stunning. You can see some of the pictures. Um, oh, still look. I mean, it looks very amazing. stunning. I can't wait very, to play. Very for colorful. those who this never Wind played Waker. Wind Waker, this is your chance to play up. it. And it's glory. I mean, this is the best it's going to get ever. So... I can't wait. It just makes me think what Zelda game is coming um, in the future. But I really rather prefer Twilight Princess's graphics. Uh, not graphics, but art style. It's realistic art style to it. And, you know, they didn't want the game to be as linear. So I want them to make a giant overworld. I mean, that's something I've been stressing. Skyward Sword's overworld was meh at best. It, it was it wasn't big I mean there was only so much you can do there were some discoveries in it but at the same time it was very vague compared to say uh, Twilight Princess's overworld which was huge in comparison um, and in comparison to Ocarina of Time I, I really hope they maybe in the future remake some other Zelda games I would love to see Twilight Princess That's remade it would be so beautiful or Ocarina of Time remade but they've pretty much already remade that with Ocarina of Time 3D or is that an upscaled version I'm not sure but I would love to see Twilight Princess remade HD Nintendo could have my soul at that point I mean take it I'll sell it to you I'm yours if they ever did that but right now every Zelda Wind Waker all those who have been claiming that Zelda Wind Waker has been the best Zelda um, to them you guys are must be really really happy so anyway we've got a reveal for we got a glimpse of it uh, and it's Yoshi's made by the same Island. That's uh, just game developers that made Kirby confirmed Epic what they Yarn and that's actually what it looks like Yarn but it actually kind of looks like Little Big Planet mixed with Kirby's Epic Yarn as far as I can see you're not just a Yarn Yoshi like 
you know, a string of yarn like Kirby was, just the outlining of his body. You're actually a full 3D model of yarn, you know, ball and all. Uh, you're not just an outlining of Yoshi. So at a, a small point, there was an outlined it yarn like Yoshi at the beginning, but I don't know if he grabbed a power up or just swallowed the shy guy, but he eventually turned into like a whole. Uh, Yoshi and this actually fits with that whole Yoshi story theme which this is the first game for a console uh, featuring Yoshi since Yoshi story so it's kind of a blend of that art style little big planet uh, Yoshi story and Kirby epic yarn and it actually looks really cool it looks very uh, very beautiful the uh, the art style so and that's actually an art style you expect for a Yoshi game is a very very cute and cuddly and soft appeal to it that's how Yoshi stories was and that's how most of the other games were they never had quite a art style like any other Mario game they always had their own art style to it so I can't wait to play this game and that will probably be releasing in sometime in the fall or the spring it, it I think it depends but the wonderful wonder one is supposed to be coming out in spring along with Pikmin 3 the and Fire Emblems um, and a few other games that some RPG think of. Or but we've also got a crossover RPG uh, I've never heard of um, and it's being developed by Nintendo and Atlas. Um, as far as I can say, if it's since I don't have a 3DS right now, if it's anything like Fire Emblem, the model of Marth, how he looks in Fire Emblem's Awakening with the mask and all. So, and actually the main character in Fire Emblem's Awakening. So, I guess we're gonna see Lin. We're gonna see Ike. Um, and some other characters, uh, maybe even Roy and stuff. So I can't wait. I can't wait to see what they do. And that's probably going to come out in the fall too. So the Wonderful 101, I want to talk about that just a tad bit because uh, they're going to release a new Iwata's Axe that will have more information on the game so I'm actually doing updates for the wonderful 101 if you guys didn't know so you guys can check that out once the Iwata Axe comes out and there's some very good information in there I'll do an update for uh, the wonderful 101 and that will be the first uh, update for that and you guys can check out the channel which I'll have in the description and as a matter of fact I'll have all the trailers of these games that had trailers in the description uh, below for you guys to check out in a link so you guys can do that so um, what I want to talk about yeah this whole Xenoblade monolith game it looks like a cross, and I know of a lot of people have been saying this. It looks like a cross of Gundam, as far as the, with the small footage um, we've seen. A, that's all like action RPG. Um, so we'll I, not much to say about this since there's not much seen about it. And the same thing with Banyan Two. We've seen a little bit of gameplay, and that mostly consisted. of looking at 3D beta like something models of like characters quick flashes and you know bayonetas and asking if we want to touch her yeah we want to touch you we want to touch you bayonetta so <laughs> um not much to say on those games but yeah I'm excited so the uh, again with the wonderful 101 um no release date yet, so we'll see. Maybe in our Watchers Acts they will reveal that. But these games are set to be coming in spring. Nintendo also talked about um, the Wii U updates. There will be two actually coming in spring. Um, one will, I'm just going from the top of my head with this. I, I may be wrong. Uh, you guys can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But one is 
to uh, do something with your user accounts to make it official. I guess the person who is the main, uh, what's it called, uh, user on the we will have uh, like a green little tag on them. Um, and you'll be able to do other things. Um, Oh, that's my phone. Uh, you'll be able to do other things such as uh, post YouTube links and you'll be able to actually watch those videos from Meverse and you can post those from Meverse for people to see. So um, that would be cool, especially if I wanted to like get my videos out there. That would be really cool. I'm not saying that I'm just going to, oh my God, I'm going to use this to advertise my channel. My channel is going to be awesome. No. I mean, just for people who are friends, who are subscribers, you know, I will probably do like a video, uh, post a link to the video on Meverse. That's it. I'm not going to spam it. I'm not going to, you know, just make my channel God among you guys so you guys can see it no I'm just gonna maybe post one video for each video I make and that's pretty much it I'm not gonna make a whole big spectacle subscribe to me or nothing like that but that's actually very useful especially for especially this is why it's useful especially for people who are doing let's plays of games that's great for that um, or, you know, if you want to learn a trick or something, a cheat or something, you can watch it now through Meverse without actually, you know, turning off uh, the game. Like, to go into, say, um, um, the internet browser, you have to, like, make the game stationary, and then you have to search and stuff. So someone can actually relieve that for you by just going to Meverse and then posting it and then you can just watch it uh, while on Meverse and uh, of course this isn't YouTube, this isn't through the YouTube app, this is through YouTube from the browser. So that's cool. Um, I like that. And uh, there is another update coming out that will make the uh the operating system a little bit faster since it loads the menu screens and stuff and going to games uh starting up games faster and there was another update coming out um i think in the summer um but they, i don't think they touched on what that was yet so yeah um so i'm really excited for these games so another announcement of mine is you guys can look forward to Yoshi's Island updates. So once more information comes out on that, I'll be doing updates on that. Um, as far as other updates, I'm kind of occupied. I'm with Luigi's Mansion, the wonderful 101. Um, if you guys didn't know, I am doing Pikmin 3 updates. Um, I'm doing, uh, I'm about to do Yoshi's Island. And yeah, so I've, I'm pretty full. So I can only do so many updates. Uh, without it completely overwhelming me, you know, and actually spamming videos on my channel. Um, I'm not, what I don't do with my updates to not overwhelm me is I'm not going to report every single tidbit of news for that game. Only if it's like at a time period. If if say I do an update of a thing of Luigi's Mansion and then here comes some more information you know and I just put up the video I won't do that update because now I'm just going to be spamming it and stuff I'm going to it's just going to become overwhelming so yeah but um also they announced that Smash Brothers and uh um Mario uh, uh the new Mario 3D game and Mario Kart will be at E3, shown at E3, and as far as Mario 3D and Mario Kart, there will be playable versions. I cannot wait till E3. They just hyped E3 up even more, and not even that. Those are just some of the games that they're talking about. There's obviously going to be more games they're going to announce at E3 itself. So I'm just really stoked at this point. I mean. I'm stoked. So I'll, uh, um, I'm still doing updates on Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U too. That's another one. So that's like five updates. And once Mario, 
3D Mario gets more uh, information and stuff, that will be a long ways till E3. And Mario Kart, I will be doing updates on those. And most of the updates I'm doing now will be over with, so I won't be overwhelmed with those. So, guys, those are my thoughts. Um, for all the news that I've talked about, I will have a description. For trailers, I will have in the description and links so you guys can see them if you haven't caught them yet or if you just want to see them again because they were so awesome. So I'll be doing more videos like the upcoming 101, uh, the wonderful 101 uh, update, Pikmin 3 update, and uh, yeah, those are the updates coming up. Um, notice I didn't really talk about Pikmin 3 even though there was a bit of information there. So thank you guys for watching. Um, can't wait. Tell me what you guys think about the Nintendo Direct in the, uh, the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be doing more videos. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.